Portugal has two time zones and observes daylight saving time. Continental Portugal and Madeira use UTC plus 0 hundred, while the Azores use UTC 1 o'clock. Daylight saving time, locally known as Hora de Verão, meaning summer time, is observed nationwide from the last Sunday in March to the last Sunday in October, so that every year continental Portugal and Madeira temporarily use UTC plus one o'clock, and the Azores temporarily use UTC plus zero hundred. Topic: History. In the early 19th century, Portugal adopted mean solar time. Navy located in Lisbon and Coimbra astronomical observatories calculated solar time to be used as legal time in their longitude regions. In 1861, the Astronomical Observatory of Lisbon was founded and, in 1878, it was tasked with the exclusive competence of calculate its mean solar time and to transmit it to rest of the country's public services. Thus, in practice, Portuguese standard time was defined as the mean solar time at Lisbon Observatory Longitude, which was later calculated as being GMT 0 hours 36 minutes and 44 seconds. In 1911, it was agreed that standard time in Portugal should be defined in accordance with the 1884 Prime Meridian System. By the decree of 26 May 1911, a reform was approved regarding standard time in Portugal and in its overseas empire, although almost all continental Portugal is located west of the 7.5 degrees west meridian i.e. in the theoretical zone of GMT 1 o'clock time zone, for mainland Portugal it was adopted GMT plus 0 hundred as its time zone. By the same law, GMT 2 o'clock time zone was adopted for the Azores and Cape Verde, GMT 1 o'clock for Madeira and Portuguese Guinea, GMT for São Tomé and Príncipe and São João Baptista de Ayuda, GMT plus 1 o'clock for Angola, GMT plus 2 o'clock for Mozambique, GMT plus 5 o'clock for Portuguese India and GMT plus 8 o'clock for Macau and Portuguese Timor. These time zones were adopted on the 1st of January 1912. Daylight saving time, hora de verão, in Portuguese, was observed for the first time in 1916 during World War I, and it consisted in advancing clocks by one hour. In that year, DST was observed from the 17th of June to the 1st of November, but in following years until 1921, it was observed from the 1st of June to the 14th of October. DST continued to be observed every year in 1920s and 1930s, although some small interruptions had occurred: 1922, 1923, 1925, 1930, and 1933, as well as DST's start and end dates, which were often changed. In the years 1942 to 1945, during World War II, Portugal, not only advanced clocks by one hour during DST, has also advanced them by another one hour during some months of those years, coming to have clocks two hours ahead of GMT, during that double DST. Situation returned to normality after 1945, with the end of World War II, and normal DST continued to be observed. In 1948, it was approved that DST should be observed from the first Sunday in April to the first Sunday in October. From 1966 on, DST started to be observed year round, so that, in practice, Portugal changed its time zone from wet GMT plus 0 hundred to set GMT plus one o'clock. However, due to the later sunrises and sunsets, many complaints accumulated. On winter mornings, people went to work under a completely dark sky, and at 9 o'clock, when school classes started, the sun was still rising, which eventually had repercussions on students' school performance and their safety during morning trips from home to school. Furthermore, in the 1970s, the idea of reintroducing DST as an energy saving measure gained strength in Europe as well as in Portugal. However, although there were so many complaints in the country with the use of GMT plus one o'clock year-round, it became clear to policymakers that if DST was to be reintroduced, it could never be observed as CEST GMT plus two o'clock, and the only solution was to re-adopt WET as standard time. So, in 1976, Portugal adopted WET GMT plus zero hundred as its standard time. DST started to be observed every year as west GMT plus one o'clock usually from early April to later September. From 1981 on, DST started to be observed from the last Sunday in March to the last Sunday in September. In 1986, time in Portugal began to be calculated in accordance with UTC, instead of GMT. 
In 1992, during Cavaco Silva government, by Decree Law 124 90 seconds, mainland Portugal officially changed its time zone from wet UTC to set UTC Differently from the 1966 move to set, this time DST was to be observed, as sest UTC from the last Sunday in March to the last Sunday in September. The measure, approved without the consultation of Lisbon Observatory, had the intention of promoting energy savings, in order that Portugal follow, in work schedules, the countries with which it maintains more frequent contacts DL seconds and so promoting economic growth. However, the measure quickly proved to be a failure in achieving its objectives and become unpopular, as in the 1966 1976 period, on winter mornings, the sun was still rising at 9 o'clock, and people went to work in the dark. Obviously, children also began the school day in darkness, with repercussions on their standards of learning, school performance, and sleeping habits. It was even common that children fall asleep on the early morning classes. On summer evenings, the usage of cest was revealed to have a disturbing effect on people's sleeping habits, particularly children's ones, as the sun was still setting at 2200 or 2230, so the sky was only completely dark towards midnight. A company hired by European Commission conducted a study which concluded that, in fact, there were no energy savings because in the early morning, due to the dark, workers turned on lights in their offices, and they forgot to turn them off, leaving them switched on for the rest of the morning, which increased energy consumption. Concerns also emerged concerns about the effect of the coincidence of rush hours with the hottest hours of the day on air pollution. Furthermore, an increase in the number of assaults on children in the morning was observed, and insurance companies reported a rise in the number of accidents. Due to all of these concerns and complaints, it became clear that situation could not continue much longer without a new analysis. In December 1995, the government now led by Antonio Guterres commissioned a report to Lisbon Observatory on the issue of Portuguese Standard Time. In February 1996, the observatory report was released and it concluded that owing to the geographical position of Portugal, the country should re-adopt WET UTC as its standard time zone, a position that the policymakers decided to follow. In 1996, new legislation was approved. By Decree Law 1796, mainland Portugal returned to the WET UTC time zone. DST would continue to be observed as west UTC from the last Sunday in March to the last Sunday in October, thus also adopting the then recently changed EU rules regarding DST. In the same year, Azores and Madeira regional parliaments also approved regional laws who adopted the new EU rules to their time zones, thus making that DST started to be observed from the last Sunday in March to last Sunday in October in the whole country. Date and time notation In 1996 Portugal adopted ISO 8601 via N28601 as NPN 28601 to 1996 Time signaling The Astronomical Observatory of Lisbon publishes the official time via the Network Time Protocol (NTP), e.g. via ntpo2.oal.ul.pt and ntpo4.oal.ul.pt. Topic: Yana Time Zone Database. The Yana Time Zone database contains three zones for Portugal. Columns marked with asterisk are from the file zone. Tab from the database. <laughs> 